Lord Roderick Balfour, thank you very much for your time. Well, let's try and imagine a scenario in which uh, Lord Arthur Balfour was to come to life and see what's going on here. What do you think was his first thought? Uh, I would think it would have been complete amazement at what had happened here. I mean, one of the things I always say is how deserted the country was and undeveloped at that time. It was desert. It was, it was fought over, not because of, um, in my view, a land of opportunity. It was fought over because it was the land between two empires. It was near the Suez Canal, uh, our route to India, which was a vital part of the British Empire. Uh, you know, the fact, the fact was that there were other political imperatives that, that came to bear. So I think the fact that it was a very barren land and had never really been exploited by the, in, the indigenous populations meant that there really wasn't a political sensitivity about saying what he said, what they said. But I mean, the result has to be a great success. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm sorry that it's, it's seen as being very bad for the Palestinians.